welcome and welcome back another day another mission yay <laughs> see this bad boy right here well i'm about to take it from what it is right now to a more minimal clean modern abstract look it is going to be such a huge change with such little effort trust me there is not much to it it is extremely simple to do we are basically using up what we already have laying around to create this piece i'm super duper excited about this piece i can't wait to see how it turns out and i know you can't either so without any further delay let's jump right on into it as you can see i already pulled apart the frame to remove its old contents the mirror is a little bit tricky to remove because of the anchors on the sides that clamps down to hold the pictures in place so i'm gonna leave it be better safe than sorry right now my next step is to paint the frame a different color i have my paint here and my foam brush now you can use whatever method that makes it easier for you you can use spray paint or in my case and paint it with acrylic paint or any other paint you may have laying around <music> For my first application, I gently dipped the tip of the foam brush in the water, then I dipped it in the paint, then very lightly brushed the frame. No pressure applied. Then I let it dry properly. And for the second and final application, which is what you are seeing here right now, I used the paint as it is. No water added. So here's a little trick I used so that my glass did not get paint all over it. Now, since the glass is loosened from the frame, all I did was slide a colander under the edges of the frame and move it around as I go. So instead of using hard paper like I originally thought of, which by the way, you can also use. I went with a piece of cardboard that was a part of the previous framing. All I did was paint it white with some diluted acrylic paint by just adding a tubes of water. And I must say, I am really feeling the extra texture that the cardboard will add to this piece. Now, these are some dried branches from a dried up ribena tree. Also note that whatever dried branches you have can use, as long as they are strong or tough enough, they will last. What I did was just break them into different lengths, sizes, and shapes. But the key is to break them so that they can lay flat on the surface. The next step is to create the pattern you want while laying them out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I return with my layout. Soon come. This is what it is. Now, 
if you like you can also spray paint the branches before gluing them as for me i'm loving them in their natural state so this is what i'm working with so i'm going to lift them one piece at a time and then glue them down in place and then we are good to go see you on the flip side Thank you.